Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So in this video we'll see how we can create this kind of stunning text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video. First I'll remove everything from the artboard and let's select our background layer and draw a simple rectangle of 1800 pixel by 900 pixel. Let's center this to the artboard and Let's apply a simple default radial gradient. And I'll use these four colors for my background. I'm using color picker tool just to save the time. You can use these codes. Let's adjust this gradient. So I'm good here. Let's lock this layer and let's start creating our text effect. The font I'm using for this text effect is American Captain and the font size is 440 points. Let's center this to the artboard. Next click on this none to remove the fill color then go to appearance panel and click on this I can add new fill and let's apply our default black and white gradient and let's change the angle to 90 now we'll apply these four colors to this layer again I'm using color picker tool just to save the time you can use these codes so next Go to the appearance panel and select this fill layer duplicate this now select this layer and now we'll change the color of this layer to this one next go to effect distort and transform and transform in scale section for horizontal we'll apply 99.8 percent and in move section we'll apply a 0.15 pixel in vertical and we need six copies then click ok next select this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer click on this arrow click on transform and increase the copies to 12 then click ok next let's change the color of this layer to this one and let's duplicate this layer next select this layer and let's change the color of this layer to this one and now click on this arrow and click on transform and increase the copies to 18 next click ok and now duplicate this layer by clicking on this plus icon next select this layer then go to effect path and offset path and apply a 14 pixel offset path and change joints to round then click ok next go to the gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient change the angle to 90 and here I'll use these five colors let's apply these five colors using color picker tool next go to the appearance panel and click on this arrow then click on transform and in scale section 98.5 percent and for vertical 99.5 percent in move section apply a two pixel vertical and we need zero copies then click ok next select this layer go to effect stylize and inner glow and for inner glow we'll use this color 
and then click OK and up will apply a 30% opacity and 5 pixel blur then click OK. Next keep selecting this layer and duplicate this layer. Now select this last layer and let's change the color of this layer for now. Apply default black and white gradient and we'll go to appearance panel. Next we'll go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Click on apply new effect. In scale section apply a 99.9% for horizontal and 99.9% .9 for vertical and in move section apply a 1 pixel vertical and we need 70 copies then click ok let's go to the gradient panel to fill the colors let's change the angle to 0 and let's fill this color I'll use these two colors for this layer So here is our gradient. Next go to the appearance panel and select type. Click on this type. Then go to effect, stylize and click on outer glow. Then click on this color and we'll apply this color to outer glow. Then click OK. We need 100% opacity and 5 pixel blur let's change the mode to normal then click ok again select the type go to effect stylize and outer glow click on apply new effect this time we need 60 percent opacity 35 pixel blur and then click ok next click on the type go to effect warp and click on arch click on this vertical and we need zero band and in vertical we need four percent then click ok next click on this type click on effect warp and this time click on art click on apply new effect and Click on horizontal we need 17% band and in distortion 11% vertical distortion then click OK next select this layer duplicate this layer then we'll go to colors and apply a simple polka dot pattern by the way if you don't know where you can find these patterns click on these three dots then go to open swatch library then go to patterns then basic graphics then basic graphics dots and here you will find all these polka dot patterns next click on this arrow and click on opacity change the blend mode to color dodge next select this layer then go to effect stylize and inner glow click on color and then let's apply this color then click ok change the blend mode to screen opacity to 100 percent and blur to 10 pixel then click ok next select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur and we'll apply a three pixel gaussian blur to this layer then click ok next 
let's apply inner glow to this layer for this let's go to effect stylize and inner glow click on apply new effect then click on color and let's change the color to this one then click ok change the blend mode to normal we need 100% opacity and 12 pixel blur then click ok so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching